Welcome everyone to the 8th tutorial of the Raspberry Pi series. Today we are going to do a sensor data analyzing using the Azure IoT platform. So let's start it. The main task of today will be we'll be using a Raspberry Pi, sending the data to the IoT hub, and then analyzing either storing the data into a SQL server. Let's see what components we require. Just a Raspberry Pi. Now, let's do the setup for the Raspberry Pi. For that, you will need to connect your Raspberry Pi using the PuTTY app. Enter your user's name and the password and click on Connect. After that, you will require to install these four libraries so that you are able to connect with your Azure portal with your Raspberry Pi. These libraries are sudo pip3 install Azure IoT device sudo pip3 install azure iot hub sudo pip3 install azure iot hub server client sudo pip3 install azure iot hub device client now let's see how to deploy the iot hub to deploy a iot hub first of all you need to log in to your azure portal then Click on Create Resource and search for IoT Hub. Click on Create IoT Hub. Enter the details of your IoT Hub as per your requirements. Verify it and create a new one. Now let's see how to add a device into the IoT Hub. To add a device, you will need to go to the overview page of your IoT Hub. Then on the left side of the menu, search for IoT devices. Then click on create and create a new one. After that, click on the device ID and copy the primary connection string of your device and save it. We will be using this afterwards. Now let's see the programming part for the Raspberry Pi. For that, you will need to connect to your Raspberry Pi, enter the code, and save the file. After that, Come back to your Azure portal and click on the Cloud Shell. And after the Cloud Shell is successfully running, you will need to add these two extensions so that we can verify that we are getting our data to the Azure portal. Now let's see how to store that data. For this purpose, you will then again go back to your home page. Click on Create Resources and search for Stream Analytics Job. After that, you will be creating a database in which data will be stored. Then, in the Stream Analytics Job, you will be taking the IoT Hub as input and the SQL database as output. Then, change the query and run the IoT Pi program. You will be able to see your output. Now, let's go and do the hands on. Now let's start the hands-on. Open the PuTTY app. Connect to your Raspberry Pi by entering your Raspberry Pi IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.106. Enter the username. Enter the password. There, you are successfully logged into your Raspberry Pi. So now let us add the packages so that our Raspberry Pi is able to connect to the Azure IoT portal. For that, we need these four commands. Copy, right click, paste. It will take some time. It's done. Now, next, copy, paste. Now next command and the last one.
now the setup is done now let's go to the azure portal and deploy uh, iot hub let's go to the azure portal we are at the azure portal we are logged in now click on create resource search for iot hub click on create now in this fill the details for the resource group we will be creating a new one workspace then we are entering the name for our iot hub iot azure hub 12 it shows that it's available now let's see the connection network leave that to default on the scaling and sizing we'll be using the free trial version now click click on review and create and create it now you can see it started deploying as you can see the deployment is complete now let's go to the resources and let's search for the iot device over here we can create a new one for my case this will be my pi and click save now click on this you are now able to see all the connection keys and the data ids of your device copy the primary connection string from here now let us see the coding part for the raspberry pi i've already written the code let's see that we have the code let's paste the connection key over here now let's go to the pudi app and create a new file sudo nano iot.py enter a new file has been created copy the code and right click and paste in this file you can see we have the temperature and the humidity value which we are basically using through a random file sending the data to the azure portal let's save that control x y enter now the program has been saved now let's go on the azure portal now let us go to the home page and create the sql database click on add to create the source row will be space then we need to add a new one let this be iot azure already used we can change let it be iot azure hub user admin login let it be admin 1 and let's enter the password let's confirm that password we have to confirm that up okay we have got that up so let's see what kind of database we are having is there is a basic one yeah we have the basic one let's apply it let's view and create 
prediction is not B. Why? Oh, we haven't gave the name to a database. Check it B data base. Storage basic. Now let's create. Click on create. Start with deploying. As you can see. In the meanwhile, let's deploy. Let's go to home and deploy the stream analytics job. Over here, click on create. Let's give the name to the job. IoT job free trial resource group will be space cloud. Let's create it. As you can see we got the notification that's just been creating. Has been deployed. So now let us go to our resource groups space. We can see over here a stream analytic job. And let's go inside this. Over here, you can see the option of input. Now let's add a stream input. Let it be IoT Hub. So let's put, let's give the name. It will be job input IoT Hub messaging. Save all as default and save. Okay, now let's go to the output. Click on our SQL database. Let it be our job out. Put database table. That's the name of the table will be data. Username was admin one. Let's enter the password. Let's save it. Go to the overview section. You can see we're having one input and one output. Let's see the query. In the query section, we'll be getting the data from job input, which is an IoT hub, and sending the data to our job output, which is the SQL database. Now let us go and connect to our Raspberry Pi 192.168.1.106 Pi and let's run the code python3 iot hub dot py you can see the data is being sent. Now let's see the output. You can see over here we are getting the data in the table form. As from the code, after every three seconds, we are getting the data. Over here as well, we are getting, let's see that the data is coming and as well as it's going to a database. So we can use that data in the future purpose. As you can see, we have received our data. The tutorial is done. Thanks for watching.